Let's see a demo of the transcription editing workflow of Chitraleka. Chitraleka is an AI-based open source video subtitling platform. Logging in as a transcript editor, this is the landing page which has the list of projects which has been assigned to this particular user. This is the task tab which shows the list of tasks which has been assigned to this user. So this has tasks from all the projects. Going back to the projects tab, opening a project, we can see that this is the project ID. This shows the creator at the time and the date when this project was created. This shows the user who created this particular project. These are the list of videos which belong to this project. So this is the video ID, the name of the video, the URL, the YouTube link of this video, the duration of the video and these are all the actions. So downloading all the related tasks and viewing the video. In case there is a translation task for this video, this will show the language pair. This shows the creator at of this video. So current owner shows the user who is working on the task which is being worked upon right now on this video. So each of these video, we can actually have a preview of the video. So the video can be played or paused here. This shows the list of tasks which have been assigned to this particular video. So transcription edit, transcription review, translation edit and translation review. So moving on to the task tab, these are all the different tasks which has been assigned to this particular user. So this user being a transcript editor user, there are only transcription edit tasks which have been assigned to this particular user. So this shows the video name, this shows the source language of the video, this shows the status, complete indicates that transcription editing has been completed. Selected source indicates that the transcription edit is yet to begin. So assignee shows the user to whom it has been assigned to. These are all the actions. Export will be enabled once the transcript edit task has been completed. This is for getting a preview of the transcription output. In order to start editing a transcription, so click on this edit button. So this is the transcription edit page which has the ASR transcript for this particular video. The video can be played or paused by clicking anywhere on the screen. Also for navigating through the timeline, the user can click anywhere on this timeline bar and the video will move to that position. Also, if the user just navigates through the subtitle blocks and selects any of the blocks, the video will move to that position as well. Another way of navigating through the video is to click, hold and then use the scroll bar of the mouse to navigate through the video like this. And one more way of navigating through the subtitle is to click and drag this particular bar. So there are two things to be done in this transcription editing page. One is to verify that the text matches the speech in the video. And the next thing to do is to make sure that the timeline matches with the speech in the video. So in order to start editing the text, the user can simply type and edit the text here this way. So now let us say that the user is actually transcribing an Indian language video. For typing in Indian languages, click on settings, select transliteration and then start typing. So the transliteration model returns the list of spellings and the user can choose the correct spelling. For typing in languages like Urdu which requires right to left typing, the user can click on RTL typing and then type. So the user has the option to actually adjust the timeline this way. Or the user has the option to move the entire timeline chunk as such. There are options like merging two subtitle blocks together like this. or Splitting a single subtitle block into two blocks. The user also has the option to add a new subtitle box. So the text in the subtitle block can also be edited. If a subtitle block has been wrongly added, it can also be deleted by clicking on delete. There are also options like find and replace wherein the user can find a word and replace it with another word. So let's play the So as you can see since there is no speech here we should wait till the speech starts and then adjust the timeline accordingly to match the speech in the video Today in So since the speech starts here we'll just move the edges of the subtitle block this way Further there are options for saving the subtitle block at frequent intervals 
even though auto save feature is there it is recommended that the user clicks on save at frequent intervals to make sure the work does not get lost there are other features on this page like increasing the font size of the subtitle blocks and then changing the playback speed of the video beautiful to look at also there are options for changing the theme of the subtitle on the video so this way once the entire transcription edit process has been completed the user can click on complete to submit the transcript the user will not be able to edit the transcripts after the submission of this task so now if you see the transcription edit task for this particular video conservation of liquids part 1 will be marked as complete the user has the option to preview the subtitles like this and also has the option to export the subtitle in any of these formats exporting it as a srt file user can view the srt of this particular video notepad software can be used for opening srt files this completes the transcription edit process thank you